Hey everybody, we are back with more RimWorld. The crew is all here. Somebody's got an infection. Hopefully they don't die. It's probably the pirate Morton. Is it? It is the pirate Morton. But it's a minor infection and he does get um, medicine, so we will have that taken care of. And our rice has come in, so that means we will have plenty of food of a rice-based uh, nature. And we will keep on trucking. Uh, we got a poor mood here. Tony isn't feeling so hot. What is your beef, Tony? Uh, you don't like that you're nude? It's humiliating. Uh, da, 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 cramped environment, ate without table. Most of this we can fix. Uh, not while you're mining, but we can fix it. First, we will fix the being in darkness problem because everybody's affected by that. I haven't even ordered a door there yet. Oh my, my, my. How negligent of me. Okay, so we will get this mining done eventually. Anyway, for the time being, I think we're going to hot rack this room. And we'll move the bed over to one of the other rooms. That'll be the first room. Uh, first room that's done next. We'll get a bed for that. And we will keep on rocking in the free world. Tony, can you construct? Are you a constructor? You are not a constructor. Well, we've got our 32 meals already. But Tony is a miner, so she's going to keep on mining. We have wood, so it'll just be a matter of time before that bed gets built. Does rice spoil? It does. Not very fast, but it does. I wonder if that's just a game mechanic thing, or if it's a... or if rice really does spoil. I don't, well, maybe it's after it's dried that it doesn't. This rice keeps for a long, long, long time. Pretty short. Okay, so we've got our refrigerator done. I'm going to put a cooler in here, and we're just going to... We'll put a door here and here, and that'll keep the temperatures from fluctuating so much so our cooler doesn't have to work all the time as people come in and out. Because people are going to be coming in and out of there a lot. Because we're also going to keep uh, corpses there uh, to be processed into meat. Okay, so we've got cotton coming in, and I'm pretty sure with the mods that we've got, it has to be processed into cloth. So we got two tribals coming in. What is that weapon? A recurve bow. Oh my. My, my, my. 16 damage, 18 range. That isn't a bad weapon. But they are attacking immediately, so we are going to counterattack similarly. And it is Tony and Tail that have the gun. Okay, I see them, they're there, they really have to come through here, so that is what we will let them do. Okay, we'll put Tony up here, tail... They're getting worked over pretty good. Uh, if one survived. Purple, are you going to survive? Not if you keep getting hit. Okay. 
Wow, that rifle's got some range on it. So we will look at gray here. Capable of none, careful shooter. He is a cannibal. He might be worth saving. So we'll put down a sleeping spot and we will have you capture him. And we've got an eclipse going. So our second raid is going pretty well. And you're going to be difficult to recruit, so we will try, but we're n not going to give you any medicine. If you die, you die. We will survive. And if, if he dies, we're going to eat him, so... Nominon some pemmican is a bit of a change of pace. There's a disease, so Gray is probably going to die. And... Yeah, I mean, that's basically going to be it. He's he's dead and we'll eat him. If he doesn't die, then um... Hey, more's the uh... more's the better. Okay, let's get something set up for processing cloth. Just put it there just because it looks funny. <laughs> We'll also throw in a source of light right there. Okay, so we've got the second room is being worked on, and we've struck a bit of metal, which is good because we're going to need it, but it's inconvenient because we're going to have to tear down walls or rebuild walls. But it is what it is. So cloth. Make cloth forever. So we are feeding sleeping people now. I don't know how that happens exactly. The eclipse has ended and a lightning storm has struck up. It's a dry thunderstorm, so we are going to be on the lookout for fires like that one. Uh, okay, we're going to have to do a quick home zone expansion and we are going to unfortunately wake everyone up okay emergency's over and we can remove that area from the home zone okay so Tony's gonna get the first the next room that we have set up Oh no! Let's try taming that. Try getting a, a useful, worthwhile animal. As well, while these little Scotty dogs are cute, they aren't very useful. What does this uh, minimum skills none? But what kind of skill is it? 
Probably crafting, maybe tailoring. But the drill mast will be the one doing it. Yeah, okay. So it is going to be his job. Another wanderer joined. And a mad animal is mad. A local doe. You wouldn't think it to look at them, but these guys are fairly dangerous. So we are going to shoot it dead. And hopefully we're going to get some clothing going here. Uh, actually, let's get that started. And tailoring bench out of wood. Okay, so we got the cotton going. We're going to need clothes. Uh, pants. We'll do that six times. T-shirt six times. Button-down shirt six times. And parkas six times. And parkas we're going to push to the top because I think we're going to need those first. Everyone's going to need a parka, essentially. Uh, actually, we will install this bed here. Phoebe. So what's Phoebe good at? Phoebe is good at melee. She's a fair hand at cooking. She's a pretty decent researcher. And animal training. Okay. So, Phoebe. You're not going to be a hunter. <coughs> Excuse me. You're not going to be a builder with those skills. Okay. You're middling, but not quite what we're looking for. And researching, you are our best researcher. Well, you're among our better researchers. But we'll make you a cleaner researcher, and we'll power through. More tribals. They are attacking immediately. They've got spears and two bows. Phoebe, what is your weapon? Do you have a weapon? You have a pickaxe. Okay. Well, why is everyone so unhappy? Oh, because of the animal dying. And because of just general unhappiness. Well, let's vent a little of that unhappiness against the natives. Okay, there they are. They're coming in. Now we're going to clack them. Now hopefully they all die. Not because I don't like them, which I don't, but because we need their clothes.
Doopy doopy doop. <laughs> okay. So they've decided to run. Um, you can go, you can go, you can go. So we've got a bow. And unless you are phenomenal. Gay cannibal psycho. Hmm. We're going to put you. We're not going to kill you. Surprised that I'm doing this. Because I said I would. We're going to capture you and look at you first. <coughs> And if you prove to be beyond capturing or recruiting, uh, like Gray here, you're not going to get any medicine. And if you survive, you do. And if you don't, we're going to take your clothes. And we are going to eat you. Oh, he survived the infection. Okay, so we got some clothing to wear, and a little bit of armor. It's not the best armor, it's made of wood, and as I recall, wood isn't a very good armor. And uh, somebody's bleeding all over the place. Okay, uh, we're going to make this a temporary medical bed. And you are going to rest until healed. Who is our doctors? Tony and Rubber. So we'll get Tony patched up. Okay, so as expected, that person got an infection. probably aren't going to survive their infection. I, I think Gray is the first person I've seen in a long time who survived infection without medicine. But time will tell. Oh, and Tony is all better now. Well, we will leave that bed open again. Tony's got her very own bedroom. We're going to put in a torch. going to keep moving forward. We might keep this building as like a general goods warehouse and maybe even a workshop. We'll live in the mountain, work outside. Cargo pods have dropped. Let's see if they brought us anything interesting. Apples! Apples are pretty good. You have the pickaxe. Are you set to mine? You're incapable of it. Okay, so what we're going to probably end up doing is having you drop that and give it to somebody who uh, is going to use it. But yes, that is exactly what we're going to do. Gear, drop. And one of our miners, Tony, do you have you have a gun, so no. And rubber has a knife, so you are perfect for the pickaxe. And that'll really pick up their mining speed. Get these rooms knocked out pretty quick. And if any idlers pop up and they're capable of it, we're gonna send them out to mine as well. Uh, let's put in some 
enjoy buildings. Put in a nice set of those. And put a chess table somewhere. Eh, never mind. Never mind. We'll put in a table, though, a regular table. Put it in this room here with some wooden dining chairs. That way people can eat at a table. It'll be all fancy. I guess the prisoners would like a light too. Severe illness. Okay. Let's just give the order to take that. I think we might just execute Gray. Because he's just sucking up resources right now. Unless he's become more amenable to recruiting. It's not impossible, but... Yeah, I'm just going to execute him. And her. So Phoebe here, that's why we don't have a research bench. Okay, well, we don't really need a research bench per se. So I think we're gonna hold off on it for now and just get it installed later after these rooms have been dug okay so we've got a decent chance of recruiting Morton now our people are all clothed that's good I did order a light to be put in here, didn't I? Thought I did. I'll get that in there now. crack right along. I think we're going to cancel this little mining section here just for now and get this bedroom carved out so Phoebe can have a bed because right now um, she doesn't have a bed. And you're a little upset because you're not wearing any pants. Well maybe you should put some pants on dear. Which I guess you probably would if we had any pants for you to wear. Uh, well, we need to kill more people wearing pants. I guess we could make them. Uh, tail, what are your D de work details set for? Conveniently, you cannot mine. Okay, well, that's just going to be the way it is, I guess. Uh, 
Okay, so we'll get the last bed that we need made and installed into this room. And we'll be super generous and throw a door on. We have zero wood stored, so we are going to order up some wood cutting. And there we go. We've got a new recruit. Perfect. And he's already made himself more useful. Oh, there's that torch. We're going to cancel that torch. So, uh, Morton. Other than a funny name, what do you have for us? You can grow. And you're decent with a blade or a club. Okay. I'll make a general laborer of you. Visitors have come. Uh, you're not going to hunt. We'll leave you at three for construction. Make you a primary grower. I'll leave you at three for mining. Two for hauling and one for cleaning. I want to keep this place clean. The last thing we need is... I didn't make that a steel that I did. Oh. Well, uh, there are worse things, I suppose. Okay, so we've got a fair whack of rice. We've got a number, a number, specifically 38 meals on standby. I think it is time to set up some power. And to that end, I want a micro solar generator. Produces electricity from sunlight doesn't work. How much does it make? Doesn't work in the dark, obviously. Um. Area revealed where? Oh. Well, that room's a little bit special now. Let's just make regular solar panels because we. This is going to be our primary source of electricity. And in preparation for our refrigerator being finished, we're going to put in two doors and. Cooler. Oh, we need rubber. Do we have rubber? We've got rubber trees, so we can make rubber. If I remember right from what I've seen, we will also need um, not power production, an oven. Not a furnace, but an oven. How much block do we have? We don't have enough of any single form of blocks to make it. Well, we can tear down this wall. And that'll give us more than enough sandstone. We'll make a sandstone oven somewhere, probably on the outside of the building. So we're just we're going to make rubber. So we're going to have to cut down those rubber trees to do that. But that will have to wait until next time on RimWorld, where we attempt to make rubber so we can get a cooler going so we can get everything rocking and rolling in our refrigerator freezer. So, until next time, have a good day.